Hello, we're back from our Hogwarts legacy today. Uh, for some reason, I thought Sebastian ditched us, but apparently he doesn't look as angry now, so maybe he's not mad at us still, but he... I'm very intrigued to see how that's gonna go. Anyways, I think we're on to the next Keeper trial. Oh. <gasps> Never mind, I want to get my broom upgrade. Hello again. Wonderful to see Hi. you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Oh, we just have to buy one? I'm assuming it's that. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay. So did we do it? You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear Whoa, what you what's think. what's happening? <clears throat> This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more what? details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom... Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. It's definitely not happening this episode because for some reason my game is freaking out, but... I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Yippee. Okay, just because I don't really want to risk being in the middle of a race and then my game glitching really bad like it is. Like, look at this. What is happening? Oh, no, it's not doing it. That's awkward. Anyways, there are some side quests that I have been ignoring in Hogsmeade. So, what's this one? <gasps> a house elf. And then there's one all the way up here. Well, we're gonna do the elf one first because it's only right here. Hello, pardon me. Hello. Oh, their name's Penny. Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a oh. house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. Oh. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. You're kidding. I can have my own shop. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help You'll me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. <gasps> if you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop? And you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm. However, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Oh. <sighs> what just happened? Are you alright? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> what just happened? Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. <laughs> um. Okay. What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from Essence of Disney to Mooncalf fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. Okay. Why are the premises in such disarray? Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <gasps> Girl. Penny is perfectly capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. Penny, why do you keep doing that? How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. 
Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill, but Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Okay. Master Mason is a wonderful master. All right, I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Okay. I didn't expect to have a little shop, but that's cool. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Y'all are talking to me while I'm fighting for my life here with this game. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go find this Cassandra lady so we can open up this dang shop. Oh, hey. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop Why, to sell. Yes, yes, I do. Are you interested? Maybe. Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? Probably. <laughs> I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well... I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. <laughs> I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm, an exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. Um. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. I'm confused. <laughs> Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? Hmm. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. This just feels really suspicious. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. Hmm. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. But what if I want it? 1500 Oh, I already have it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna buy it. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. 
and brave. You oh. won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. But this feels like a scam. <laughs> Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. Ew, I don't know. This lady is just kind of creepy. Okay. Oh, there she is. Hi, Penny. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. I need to find stuff in the back room, though. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. <laughs> Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Repair. Nothing like a bit of hard work. What happened in here? Oh, Penny can already see the potential. What was the shop? Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <laughs> Um, what does that mean? Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. What is in the chest? This feels so... Oh no. Oh, what is in this chest? I'm scared. Someone's gonna eat me. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my god, why would you just immediately hop in? My girl is dumb. Ooh. Why did- why did- Oh, just wait, there's gonna be dang spiders. What is down here? <gasps> did it just close? Oh. oh my god, she trapped me. glasses <laughs> I'm uh, I'm very concerned man my game is not happy today okay There's really nothing here. Oh, don't tell me that the mannequin's gonna move. Oh my god, they definitely are, aren't they? Because <gasps> why are they highlighted? That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? What is happening? I'm exploring what lies below. <gasps> oh my god, shut up. He did move. Well, that's not very hospitable. Stop. Stop, I'm scared. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh goody, someone to play with. You seem kind of sort. What fun this will be. For me, at least. Where is he? Is it a go? <gasps> um. Pavelia. <sighs> 
Where am I supposed to be going? Lumos. I can't see. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing going on. That's new. Onwards, I what? suppose. Oh, the door. Okay. I'm gonna just turn that off. I'm gonna go back to being hidden. <gasps> what in oh, the holy. Who's there? Since when was this a horror game? I hate this. This I was not expecting this. I feel like I'm not supposed to be hidden like this. But I'm gonna stick with it. Oh. Um I'm sorry. Huh? Do I go back out? I'm gonna say yeah. Uh huh. Yep. 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 You know, now I I'm thinking I understand why <laughs> everyone left so quick. You know, it's kind of annoying that there's nothing for me to find in here. Seems as if I should hang something there. What? Ah. Ah ha. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Guardian Leviosa. Boom. Let me out, please. How oh God. To me? What do you mean? Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the others. I plan to? Oh my god, I just got- Oh, where am I going? <laughs> this is not what I expected to happen when I went to meet a nice little house elf. Eek. Okay. Holy. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. Ooh. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it, if you make it out, that is. Oh. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. So I'm assuming that's her husband. What's the saying? Two signs to every storm. Whoa! Well, unfortunately for you, both sides here are to my story. And you'll have to complete my to get to the end. <laughs> Holy. So I have to do what? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go this way first. I don't know why, I just- I feel like it. I simply adore this blue Stop! There's don't spider you? webs! You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Wow, crazy! Okay. Got a scarf. Ew. This is not fun. I don't know, I feel like if these could see me they'd move a lot more and since they don't... What was that? Oh 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh, what? I'm afraid of the dark. Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? No, because you're a ghost. I feel like that's normal. It should. Oh. Sorry. Am I supposed... Oh. Oops. Okay. Aha. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Oh, that's fine. I don't want you getting too comfortable for one last Whoa. I don't know which one was correct. <laughs> Stop throwing things at me. Oh, I need that. Oh, there's one right here. Ah. Would you look at that? Oh, so I had to do that one to do the okay, 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 okay. Makes sense. Moving along. Oops. I girl. Do um about that. Where is the lantern? Not here, apparently. Do I ever just sprint? Hold on, I'm gonna sprint. Oh, I died. Hmm. Only two lanterns, but three spots. Perhaps I should move them around to open the door and build the platform. I don't even see the other one. There we go. Did it. Sometimes I wish the game would give me clues faster. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done, me. Oh. Hello? Yikes. Yikes. Ooh. Did I do it? Please tell me it's done. Oh. Oh. Lumos. Oh my god. Why are you all doing that? I think I've even made it out of the thing yet. Or have I? Was that where I came in? Oh, it definitely was. Okay. Cool. I have to get another one. This is turning out to be the longest dang thing. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Yes, we definitely do. I just didn't think this quest was going to take this long. Oh. 
Holy. What now? Oh. Is there something in here? No. Oh. Thrilling. I'm really bad at chess. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Knight to H3. Are you kidding? Knight to knight. <laughs> huh? Can I just go fast? <laughs> Um, that was the wrong square. Uh, uh, uh. Revenia. Oh. Huh. Huh. Whoa. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can find a way to reveal the path. Yeah, girlfriend, we did. I'm just bad. <laughs> go. Just go. Oh my god. That wasn't too difficult. Oh goodness. Ah. <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. That was scary. I didn't like that. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Why? Like, this is fun and all, I guess, or whatever, but... Oh, 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 oh. What is under the rug? Nothing, apparently. I don't like the footsteps you hear. Oh, okay, well that one was a lot quicker than the other. Yay. Sweet. Or not, we played hide and seek. Play with the poltergeist. What? At my face, apparently. Oh! I don't like you. Oh. Why are these mannequins kind of annoying? <laughs> they're not like hard, they're just irritating. Now that should get your attention. Oh, where did you come from? Well, this has been fun. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. That was all? I had to run down here just to get... Okay. <laughs> Ew, there is spiders in here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there we go. One done. This feels like a haunted house. Well, and it, it is, but like... Never mind. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's not what I want to do, but ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You need more than you've learned from books to best me. Okay. Why is there fourteen different paths? Whoa. It's always good to have a different perspective on 
Okay. Rebellion. So I'm assuming another way. It's like a maze, is what I'm assuming. Oh. Nope. Um, the entire thing just changed. <laughs> okay. Did I go the Lewis. right way? What? Hmm. I found it. No, come here. Get over here. There we go. My head is spinning. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do I want to be on this? Oh, well, hopefully I do, because I just jumped. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, a chest. Ew, that's freaky. Oh. Another lantern. Hello? Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. Okay. No. How do I grab it before it moves? Okay, apparently I don't understand. Sometimes I really am concerned for myself. All books and no pay make one quite dull in here. Where do you go? Out there. Oh, hello. Get on. Here we go. Okay. Yee. Not more of those. Whoa. Lumos. Why am I back in the basement? Oh, deja vu. So I'm supposed to be here? Oh boy. Okay. Right. So is this like a matter of picking the right door? Oh my god, stop doing that. How many times hmm. am I going to spin around? Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. What? Um... A spider? Yes. What do you think it was? Oh, 
Huh? Yeah, get me out, get me out, get me out. Ooh. What are you? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, how ah. nice of him to pop in. Stop. Stop with these stupid mannequins. Where am I supposed to go? There's like a bajillion different ways. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this a lot. Apparently was not one. <laughs> that one is though. Numerous. Numerous. Are we good? Yeesh. Did I make it out? Oh, hallelujah. Holmes. Ugh. Can this please be the end of it? I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> He's gonna throw stuff at me again. How much you wanna bet? No, it's not. He flew at me. Hey now. Entertain him? Ow. Am I supposed to just get hit by them? Oh, no, you can dodge them. I'm just dumb. Go away. I'll give you a moment to connect yourself. If you can. Ta ta for now. <sighs> okay. Oh, this looks really good. Really great. is this? Um... Okay... clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I'm sick of these deals. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. 
What? The to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! I didn't agree to that. Can I hit you? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding? Whoa, whoa. Game, now is not a time for you to not want to load. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I got him a quarter of the way done. This is gonna be the longest fight of my life. You know, now I'm seeing why they gave out so many wooden world potions. This is a nightmare. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, did I do it? Did I do it? Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. No. Oh. Oh, <gasps> you're kidding. <laughs> There's no way. I clicked the wrong button. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, well, finally. Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I did not think that was fun. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about that contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. <laughs> Just to be clear. What does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Mostly? Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract. With one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. You've worn me out. Ah, well done. I have a feeling about you. So am I done? I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. That... Okay. Okay, well that took... ages. Penny... I just... went on a whole adventure. Hello, Penny. <gasps> Penny is so glad you're back! How do I tackle this one? I want to be nice to Penny because, like, she doesn't have a choice. I'm, I'm gonna be nice. Why are you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? 
St. Mungo's. I think you should explain, Penny. <sighs> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. See. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased the shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Oh. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Single will know what to do. Penny mm. will wait right here. Okay. Where is this officer lady? Officer Singer. Hey. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Yes. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she's done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <coughs> <Stupid Bye. Bye. laughs> Stop her. Oh, I have to. Now, this is ridiculous. You're telling me I have two boss battles? What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Hey. That seemed unfair. I should have known better than to do business with a wily stupid. Probably, yeah. You have to dodge two. And then the third one, you potato, and then you whack her. Did I get her? Oh, no I did not. Where are you? <laughs> Hello? Oh, I did it. Oof. Ah, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> Don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never really crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Check on that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. <laughs> okay. Oh. And not to worry, Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. <laughs> Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Yay. Okay, honestly, I didn't expect this to end with me actually getting the shop. But I didn't anticipate any of that happening, so... <laughs> okay, Penny, you got some talking to do. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. 
Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Yay. <gasps> I can... Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to be completely honest. I googled it because I didn't know which option to pick. So, the little hat that we found, I based on what it said, it said either way she helps. So, I'm going to give her the option. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Aww. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. Aww. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Oh my god, so I actually get a shop? Sh oh my god. I don't know, something about Vesters and Venom I like. I choose Vesters and Venom. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, oh. and Penny... We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Does it actually have the sign? Oh my god, it does. Look at that. Do I just give her stuff to like sell? <gasps> she had that! Her little hat Penny is so cute. Safe and wondrous travels. Bye, Penny. Okay. Well, I did not anticipate that quest taking this long. That took the amount of time it usually does for an entire episode. <laughs> okay, I'm not speaking with Amelda today because that thing is going to take me forever. <sighs> I would love to keep going. And this is going to be kind of a funky episode since we're ending already. But just because of how long that dang quest took, I wasn't anticipating that and I got things to do. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to end it here. Actually, I want to go in and end it next to Penny. I oh, her little hat is so cute. I love it. Well, you know, this is not at all how I anticipated this episode going. I'm not mad about it. It was a little irritating at times. But now we got our own little shop and we got Penny. So that's fun. But yeah, I don't know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we will do our best to catch up on some things that I was going to do this episode. And then um, we got caught by a poltergeist instead but it's fine so yeah uh hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all next week for more hogwarts legacy bye